What's good, the internet, and welcome back to Attack Slug. We'll play just about anything. This time, it is a game called Pyramid Plunge, launching in Steam Early Access next month, June of 2021. It's been out on Ish.io for a bit at like eight or nine bucks. It is a 2D roguelike in the vein of a Spelunky, Catacomb Kids, Cave Blazers. Vagante, you get the idea. It has multiplayer. I'm obviously not doing that here on the video, and it has Twitch. Obviously, I'm recording here for YouTube, so not doing those things. But hopping into solo, and it obviously has that map of the day type thing, roguelike style, you know, how it goes in this genre. And weirdly, you can you can also practice on the boss. But let's hop in here to a random pyramid and descend that pyramid. So we have two characters. You always have two characters. You can change your color, which is nice. You can change your difficulty, which is interesting for this kind of a genre. So it basically means, all right, on Tourist, it takes three minutes for the ghost or the flood to show up. And then that reduces here to returning and badass if you're fast enough. Uh, but also on Easy, you get more power-ups in the crates. So you see here, Egypt, Maya, Alaska, not in the game yet. Underworld, not in the game. It's only the first two worlds of this roguelayer in the game thus far. Let's just hop in and show you what in the blue hell is going on. So this all might look very familiar for this genre of game. But there is other things here that it's doing that are not in those other games. Number one being you don't have a primary attack as such. So I can't really attack. Uh, with just my hand. I, I, I don't have whip. None of that, right? So, my wife here, or fiance, or whatever, I, she has to come with me. I can pick her up and just run here with Felice, right? So, you're getting loot, and you are descending into this thing here. Even carrying her, I can do that on the ladder. It's fine. And you can throw her. She don't like that. She will slap you every time. Don't throw your lady friends, right? But, what we want here is this crate, and it's a landmine. So now we have that in our inventory. There is an inventory here, which you can use at your own personal discretion, which is nice. Um, and there we go. So you can see here, there are health bars for both myself. Actually, you can't see mine. It's under my camera here. I'm actually just... There is a health bar hiding under my camera. I'll put that back now. Both characters have a health bar. So as I said, it feels very much designed to be played in co-op, and obviously I'm not doing that here in the video, but it's feasible. That was a lot. Whole heart there on that fall damage. But uh, you have to obviously keep both characters alive. You have a double jump. It is very useful to have that double jump. There are traps that the enemies apparently don't do with whatever. Um, and there's obviously a lot of gold here to pick up. That's a scorpion. Murdered that. So I can put her down and leave her there. She will somewhat follow. Also, what's that? She will also, if I say, hey, I'm gonna put you up here, right? And I can weasel. And she will hop down here and do that. But uh, don't toss her. As you help it, she will slap you every time. She don't like that. But... Uh, you can also damage her if you're using rocks or a frying pan or, you know, there are things that will damage your uh, lady friend here, which is not what you want because, obviously, when, when either character dies, then you're just done. Now, there are continues, which is also unique for this kind of game, genre, roguelike, whatever. That is being invincible. Very nice. Very nice. So, in some ways, it's a lot easier than other games in the genre. And in some ways, having to have your constant escort mission co-op, it is a little bit harder than those games. Now, as of yet, I've found no secrets, um, but I had done things here otherwise and gotten the gold and then the enemies in between each stage have a shop. And I'm going to skip the shop thing here, but the shop, I can buy dynamite, I can buy health, and I can buy glow sticks. I don't have any money to do that, so unfortunately, we're leaving here at the bazaar. And yeah, do that. And so much like a lot of roguelikes, you get one of these. Now, unlike a lot of roguelikes, uh, there is no indication as to what either level would give you as opposed to the other one. There is no real, all right, why choose left 
versus right if nothing is different there. So I'm hoping that some point that changes. Uh, but as of right now, it's just you're picking random and you're here randomly and it's just going to be procedural in its own way. And there's no way to know which way is going to be which with that. So that's a little weird, but hey, it's still going to be early access here for a bit. So it's not done as of yet. So I'm not going to judge harshly on that. Got a heart back. Love it. Now, uh, your secondary character here can pick locks when you find the chest here to get locks, which is good, important. Um, and they also, also, you have the ability to toss them up into the air and then have them put a rope down to bring you up to where you need to be, which is also very useful. So you can see right there is a chest in the... Whoop, right here. Put her down there and do that chest with the hairpin. And if you're playing as her, he has a thing to put in there uh, himself and you just get more loot. Just get more loot. So it's a high score thing um, because obviously there's no ending in the game just yet. Uh, some stages, as you get later on and deeper into the dungeon, need keys to get out the door. So we've got to be more exploring of the dungeon to get those keys. So, uh, just the having a double jump here makes this so much different than a lot of games in that that do this thing in particular, which is kind of wild. So that's been interesting to deal with. That was our landmine. And murder that thing. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the accent on the characters. It seems very trying to be a Mario, but not really. It's but we'll head out here into the third thing. After the end of this map here, there is a boss fight, and that, that boss fight is a little tricky, but it's doable. Thus far, skip that. What's in the bazaar? Bananas, health, and a boomerang. I have not bought the boomerang yet, so I'm gonna buy the boomerang. Because again. Roguelike. So we're learning here and finding out what things do. And yes, much like Spelunky, we're buying a boomerang. So I have not used any items just yet. I haven't needed to. So at some point we we will, but not just yet. You can see here, after these next two levels, then it's going to be a boss fight and then you go into the Mayan uh, pyramids there. So here we are, level three in the game. So yeah, the whole, like, for me, the escort thing is a little bit like... I get it because it's really designed for multiplayer, so playing it in like by myself is a little bit like can be annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I've obviously played worse, so I can't get too mad at it. But it is a little bit weird to kind of all right. If she dies, even at, at no fault of my own, then I'm still screwed. But having continues does make things a bit more compelling uh, on that front of just. All right, I died, but I guess I continue a couple of times. So there's definitely that part of I hate you. Throw her, and I missed. So yeah, when you when you miss, and I don't have anything to really just I gotta make sure I hop on the uh, whoops, see, and I get slapped, and that can can cost you health if you're not in the right spot. If you're not careful enough, it'll cost you health, and that's a problem. But I'll show you here, right? I will go here, and then I will toss her up boost and then i can climb and that works with both characters regardless of who you're playing as so here we go get there there's a key right there so we're gonna get that key and head down to the bottom there we go bam, bam. got the key for the door oh yeah but i'm trying to avoid these really and then you just drop stuff which is super uncool. She's running away. It's it. You can see how things get bad, um, quick, quickly. They get bad quickly. I'm already at one heart. Uh, I just wanted more stuff, and it went the worst. In one of those. Walk into it. No, really, Scorpion Man? Really? You're gonna walk away? Your whole path is to go like back and forth like a Koopa Troopa. There. I made you explode. That's what you deserve. Stupid scorpion. Now, I need health pretty badly here, so that's going to be a problem. Um, if I get hit again, it's going to be an issue. There's a heart. All right, now it's not as bad. But again, we're playing on easy here, so 
Easy is just easy. Or well, easier than a lot of games that do this very exact same thing. You know, the roguelike, the 2D, the descending into the depths type thing that was so expertly done by Sp Spelunky so many years ago. So, all-time classic in my opinion. Now then. Alright, put you down here. Get this crate. Get some dynamite. Let's go ignite that dynamite. And then get ourselves out of here. Torched it. Let's just go. Let's just go. Now, I have had this game crash twice. Uh, once, using an item on the boss, and every time I'm just sitting on the main, uh, main menu, it just cr crashed. So it's not super stable, but stable enough. Stable enough. So, we've got flippers? What do the flippers do? Oh, when it floods. Uh, no. I haven't had it flood yet, so I've managed to make it out of these stages in under the amount of time I've needed to get there, so it's not been an issue. Now, here, it's gonna do a spin thing, and then now the stage is gonna be full of scorpions. So that can change depending on the deal, which is fine. Um, but yeah, the let's -a go, come on, come on, let's -a go, seriously, bruh. But yes, hella scorpions all over the place. So again, we're gonna need a key. So hunting around for what the key might be is gonna be important. If I don't see it over here. Oh, oh, come on, bro. Now I gotta continue. So, in order to replay your death there. But, yeah. World 4 failed. A stick and scorpion, but again, we have three credits here, so I can retry and get back in there. And all my stuff is still here in the world. So, don't. Oh, come on. Bro, throw her. Stop whining. I hate it. I hate it. The banana peels was the problem. Bruh. So yes, it does have that roguelike, oh my god, things are happening, it's real bad type stuff. Which I do enjoy when things go real wrong and real, 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 uh, real rotten. So that I'm not mad at. But... Yeah, it can get a little bit like, oh my god, get up and do something because holy crap, holy crap. Like that. I was already standing on it and now it wants to go? When I was already standing on it? I got the health back, it's fine. But there's the key. Alright, we're good. Because now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get this key. What just hit me? Another arrow? Are you... Invincible. Screw y'all, I am the invincible slug. Nothing can touch me. We're doing this, and doing this, and doing this well. Straight to the exit. That's it. We're out of here. We want to see the boss. And there we go. So, that was World 4. Got some loot there. Got some enemies dead. Here is the boss. You throw rocks at the boss. Like that. You don't throw her at the boss. He spits out enemies. You step on the enemies and then do that. You can obviously do some of that. Oh, you stay here, lady. Yeah. So you want the rock. You want to get hit by him. And obviously if she gets hit then and she dies, then you're screwed, right? So it's important to not get screwed here. And get up. Pick her up. Get these stupid spiders out of the way. And I crashed the game. So again, using items... Well, using items uh, on this boss has now crashed the game for me twice. Still early access. We did that. That is Pyramid Plunge. Launching on Steam next month. Early access. I am a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time. And I'm out.